on? Is it on? Of course, when I'm online, it does this. I'm not sure if I'm heard right now. Nor do I know anything in audio adjusting. Let's go see Timaeus. Paimon has a favor to ask him. It'd be great if we could catch Sucrose and Albedo, too. But they seem really busy lately, so let's not get our hopes up. Anyway, let's go see! <gasps> Someone needs assistance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
vision hunt decree. Did something bad happen again? Have you heard about the vision hunt decree? Yeah, yeah, you event you. Uh. Hey, to me! Uh, is that Albedo? Why is he leaving? Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Ugh, so we just missed him! Maybe we should have hollered to him. He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help uh, out anyway. Not like I care about spoilers, so... I'm not gonna spoil anyway. Uh, upset? You mean Albedo? Ah, uh, so gross. Always adorbs. Should level mine up, actually. Yeah, he wasn't looking his usual self. Upset. Uh oh. I wonder if. Hmm. What are you looking at me for? I wonder if Tamaez's research topic is is so boring that Albedo finally snapped. What? Surely not. It's not that boring, is it? <laughs> nah. Anyway, Paimon wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus. A favor? <laughs> well, well, sure. How can I help? Well, Paimon found a bunch of super duper sweet sensetias in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be good. So Paimon isn't ready to finish them all yet. Paimon was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way, they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon needs. Meanwhile, in the background, you got the dog. The dog is the best thing ever. Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little... Uh... The dog... The dog is the best thing ever. Oh, man. Huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Can't you do it? <laughs> Paimon, I I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. The question is, when has she ever not been in that realm? Oh, <sighs> okay. So how about you, Sucrose? Any idea? I I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but... I'd probably just end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. Tomato with muscles. Sounds like Monsanto stuff. Whoa! Your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Oh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. If you just wanted to modify certain properties of the fruit or their seeds, on the other hand, I'd easily be able to help with that. So like twinky fruits. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. Well, I hope my 
always know that it's so loud. What are we doing now? We have new phone fragments. Found it. Oh, it's in sound. Turn it off anyway. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative, but it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. That wish is beyond my power. It's beyond my power. Sounds like Shenron, actually. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. There is a big difference between the two. Oh boy. Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy! In fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. Of course, we know better now. But even then, I have to admit, alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly <laughs> not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve it indefinitely. Uh, oh, oh, uh, sorry. That wasn't meant as a criticism against you personally. Keep Paimon in check. Paimon uh, just wanted some fruit juice! What's wrong with that? Oh, of course, these are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. He doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. What's so funny about... Hey, so where is Albedo heading to anyway? Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. He seems particularly fond of that place. And somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. So now he's Elsa. Then let's go to Dragonspine to find him! Come on, there's no time to lose! All he needs to do is appear in Spider-Man Elsa. <laughs> Toy videos for kids and stuff like that. Now it helps. The beta was now Elsa. How can I help what you? the hell? Okay. Go to Dragon Spine. I do Ew. not like this event already. It's Dragon Spine again. So now that. Broken pines. So I'm assuming those weapons are for you. Oh, that's 
to the hippo. Hey, cool. You just. Mm. Oh wow, what a coincidence. You're in the event! Why am I thinking to have this? Sold out. Wait, what happens if I buy that? I already own it. Shouldn't this thing have said... Darn. I'm just gonna save them up to get me wrong. I keep this. I'm pretty sure me home is like sick of this. This guy, yes, keep. This guy keeps entering this. Whatever it's called. <laughs> it's Cinnabar Spindle. Cool, double bonus for domain. Double bonus. A hundred percent bonus. Once, there was a glorious kingdom established among the heavens. Shadowed snowfall. Worth buying the no stick him? I've never done that. I mean, as long as you. <laughs> Time for Ganyu to create war crimes. <laughs> hey, cool, then he's not. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's see, child means do that. Can you murder all the the pigeons? Hang out this then. Really? Oh no, not this guy. Let's do some trials. So Ha! <laughs> 
Yes, it's the weapon. Shut up! You're open! Touche. Uh, what's his name? Chong Yun. Crush. Huck. Good grief. Chong yeah. Yun wins when they get more speed. Beg for mercy. Flood of frost. Let us cross swords. So yeah, I'm getting hit a lot. I don't know how to play this. Whoa, what happened? What is it with me and breaking mice? Left click, maybe a maybe at a better chance with that. Let's try it out. Mr. Chin's birthday! It's not there. Um, I'm a disgrace. I'm Mr. Chin's birthday. I am horrible. And to think I made her. Save the thing. Cool. Only time I am screwed is okay. Yay. Oh, since I it why not oh no it got I 
Shouldn't I just... Okay. Okay, so... What? Return. In a controller setup. Okay. Um... Moment of birth. This work? Sorry, a lot of people are saying she sucks. Then again, I have too many ice characters. So many, I only have Kaya, Shongyan, Gadi, Rosaria, and the cat. You mean the only? Um, I'm gonna call her Professor McGonagall. She's a fucking cat. 
I'm actually not sure if I'm going the right way. Do you go through Springvale? I teleport, but honestly. I need to get my bearings. So looks like my looks like my endeavors to level up. Wait, no, 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 not level up. There. What? To think that she's already constellation five. And I haven't been maiming her. Relying on animal travel for all this time. What I need is Ning Wang. Okay, who else is Constellation 5? Lisa is Constellation 0? Searching, yeah. Oh, but I got Xiang Ling. <laughs> oh my goodness. The official of Pod 2. I was surprised I didn't get more than one Kujo Sara. Razor. Hello. How do you even. What? Where did you get this sh <laughs> Alloy can be leveled constant blah? Character selection, Toma. Hey, Toma. <laughs> Stop eating Tahoyaki and making me jealous, you. I'm just so disappointed. I'm not actually using A. That's a tornado! Wait, what? Oh no! I guess I fixed everything up again. I'm not... Somebody forgot the controls again. Fair because we didn't move. Using the one too much. I think she's con zero. Maybe I can switch my. Okay. How do I switch my. the supplies. What supplies?
like it's still locked because I 12 endings for no Oh okay, no 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 I get it because she has a thing Goro Why is it locked? I mean no 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 why is spend two story keys to unlock okay. I've Oh yeah, yeah, I've done it. At least there's a thing and a thing and a thing and a... Mm -hmm. I somehow understand it now. So... The king Doge man. Okay. Nope. We're unlocking. You can start playing from any computer. Ooh. I'll do that later. Is this really the way to- No, it's not. I have been lost again. Wind blade. No, 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 no. What is he doing? You know, it would be nice if I could cross play with the. <gasps> As a good night should. Get it. It's not even. It's not even. From physical to elemental. Speed of light. Nowhere to hide. This thing my primary and only major damage. <laughs> Don't blink. I wonder what it is. <laughs> oh, you shot me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Speed of light. Oh, not now. <laughs> what time when I didn't bring any pyro to get rid of that shield? <laughs> no, I'll be fine. <laughs> I leveled up the world level. That's why everything's so powerful. That's why everything feels so powerful. Leave it all to me. I did not leave it to my mind. I love it. Incoming. Slip my mind that I did world level, whatever level. Got lucky that time. Yeah. With sword comes shadow. Okay, one of them's dead. Good. I must leave no stone unturned. Oh, thank goodness all that stone would have uh, resulted in. Don't blink! No, not me. I'm 
the heart of the fox. I'll keep this close. Woo! Oh. It's just goodbye for now. No, 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 no. Okay. Why don't you use a hydro character? Because I don't have one. And I'm going the wrong way again. You know what? Screw it. Go to the map. Forget it. We're going to the map. Oh no, wait. What? What? It. No wonder why I'm freaking. There it is. Been going the wrong way all this time. What? Amber? Is that you? Huh? This looks lively. What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look. Hey, traveler in Paimon. Fancy meeting you all the way out here. Oh, it's Oswald. Um, no, it's not Oswald. Amber? Cyrus? Pallet? Oh, What's it's... What's anyone doing at Dragonspine? Don't you mind the cold? Oh, Alan? the Red Traveler Alan? is joining us too. Oh, great! What? Fantastic! Wonderful! <laughs> the more, the merrier. It's, it's Reinhardt, basically. That's Reinhardt from Overwatch. How can that be? Okay. I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. Oh, right! Paimon remembers most of these people are from the Adventurers Guild. Uh, then again, it seems a certain Outrider is joined too. A certain Outrider. She's the only Outrider. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurer's Guild is holding winter trading on Dragonspine. Wait, are they introducing seasons now? As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragonspine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But it's dangerous to go alone. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. So he's gonna give us a sword. This is gonna be Legend of Zelda already. So, we made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and controlled circumstances. Will that work? Darn it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Safe and controlled circumstances. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I have been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together. <laughs> it's a great plan, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe not. Honestly, we'll never know until it unfolds. Hey. You are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. <laughs> Awkward response. It's the only word. Uh, Amber, what are you doing? <laughs> Is the adventurer's guild short on experienced members? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. Oh no. Wait, this is a kid with like... This is a kid who's waiting for his dad. No. No. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. Oh my god, it's... 
<laughs> it's the kid. It's the kid. It's the kid. Oh my god. Wait, I just gotta. I actually don't know if I'm. Uh... Yeah. Maybe that'll. Uh, uh, Bring everything else a little bit higher and uh, boom. What? I actually don't know how this works. Advance on your property. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, fine. It's just a little bit more. There it works. Okay. Okay. Hmm? Oh no. Okay, this is b this is freaking audio adjusting on the fly. How can how come I cannot do it on I the know. swim? Joel's father went missing. <sighs> this needs the wait. My overlay disappeared. No, no. Nope. I guess that'll work. Man, I'm, I don't know why I'm tweaking this on the fly. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragon Spine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. I am not... I am not good at this. I can't believe I'm editing this on the... That's what I get from using game. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up, so I said I'd build a snowman with him. It's something he enjoys doing. Oh no. So many kids here. I'm betting they're all adventures. Like all the adult men here in Tevat. They're just adventurers. And then they perish, leaving behind. Oh no. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. It. Is this a flirt option? <laughs> yeah. Mihoyo going the road of Bioware <laughs> with. <laughs> Ah, really? Thank you. And thus, Lumine and Amber. Kanon, the lighting you always. Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should be here any second. She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? Is this Miss Little Miss Revenge? No problem. Go ahead. I Get still it, have some final checks to make, Yula so likes. I will call you before we depart. 
I will hold you before the winter part. Yes. Are you here in obey? Yes. Excellent the choice. Man, that takes me back. Warcraft. I am wondering if it. I'm wondering if Vine can make it run in Linux. Just gonna try to play it on Linux. Why not? Hey, Joel, we're here. It's. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. And then he becomes Sinigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Do -do -do. Are you here to build a snowman too? Mm -mm. Oh, there you are. Build a snowman. Don't tell me she's not. She's been raised to like. You should not go outside. That is not proper for a noble person to do so. <laughs> Bra 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 bra. <laughs> that is not proper for a young lady such as yourself. Yeah, because she was raised by nobility. I mean, she is nobility. She's more of a. Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Omega lol <laughs> of all the things to call her <laughs> Oh my god Oh my god <laughs> What Ho, ho, ho. Oh no, <laughs> this is mm -hmm. I'm I am flummoxed. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe this just happened at all.
this is amazing this is just the best This is the absolute best thing that's ever happened. <coughs> I am paralyzed. <laughs> This is amazing. Should I? Should I click next and see the... Okay. It's now up to me. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I can't jump off the... Nope, 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 nope. I am too scared. Eee. Goodness. This is... I am scared. Absolutely scared. Auntie Eula? Oh my goodness. <laughs>
<laughs> no. <laughs> This is nuts. Nuts and bolts. Banjo Kazooie. Where the association? Anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh no, Mon Okay, this cord has like Monty Python. <laughs> yep, reading a Genshin server right now. Oh my. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is this is funny. Uh oh, you was gonna add that to a long list of scores to settle. <laughs> the world just stopped spinning. <laughs> Oh no. I can't. I. <laughs> what? Crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> This is the best. <laughs> okay, uh All right, if that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. What? She... This is weird. Why isn't she like, how dare you? I am going to inflict vengeance upon you. She's... Oh my god, this is so out of character for Yula. She normally goes like, Vengeance will be mine. What? Whoa! Yula just let something go for once? I know, right? Never thought I'd say this, but Paimon, I know, right? Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short-handed. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. It is Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. <laughs> Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> ice bath? Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. Yep, yep. Count Paimon in too. Paimon wants to build a snowman. <sighs> and Eula, are you too busy to join in? Oh, no. <laughs>
If so, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I'd be delighted to join you. I'm just wondering. No, 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 no. I'm good, I'm good. Wait. Just how tight are those... Where the, how just tight are those the, the, the straps on her those are not stockings I swear her greaves no 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 greaves are but you can see them right her thighs are bulging <laughs> I think she's hit the buffet one too many times you can then let's get started first we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies joel and i will be on one team mm -hmm. you and eula can be on the other team oh no hey joel see that huge tree over there want to race me there yeah let's do it Wow, those two are fast. It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun. Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? Um, well... <clears throat> Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me. And he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Oh... Right. That's why he calls you Auntie Eula. True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. Yeah, but the 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 that's why I keep suggesting that Eula marry into the Ragnvinders. You know, to just get rid of her stigmatized family name. It was a surprise, but and not in a bad way at all. Evil relatives and all. Indeed. It's just... Hang on. She has similar eye color to Ganyu. Cool! Cool! <sighs> That's the thing. I'm a little worried that I won't be up to the challenge. Snowman? Challenge. Yeah, I think she was raised by the Lawrences to like, I don't know, piano, supremacy complex, pia uh, violin, you know, that kind of nobility things, looking down at the commoners and all that. Start auto play. I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. I actually want to learn how to change the button displays in games. I got so used to the X circle square triangle thing from the PlayStation. It is what it is. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Oh no! Paimon's starting to feel sorry for you, uh. You sound confident. <laughs> Alright then. Also, her headband looks like pantyhose. Enough small Boom. talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings! We have a slight problem here. We've done a head count, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. Who could that be? Thank goodness you are here. 
Oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Hmm. In that case... <sighs> Fine. But for that, you will pay. Yay, she's back! Huh? Pay for what? Okay. I got it. She's back. I'm ready and willing to learn. Yes, who's back? Back again, again, again. Good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Why did you give the spot to Eula? <laughs> You're so nice. Paimon noticed you a smile just now. It must have meant a lot to her. To be honest, you really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her! Just because she's a cryo vision wielder. Girl, I know words. Okay, so I had a high shirt grow up on my neck. Gets it? This must be the whole reason why Amber got Eula involved in the first place. Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now Eula's busy with other stuff, and uh, Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I need. <laughs> Do I have enough to make goulash? I don't even know the... What are you? I thought he was an actual... He's just an NPC. That is a real laugh. 
and I've ran around the base camp whatever Ooh, cool. and I thought I was spending more time in Inazuma oh my goodness Rice buns. I have, 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 I am only I have, I have, I am only able to make two. Perfect. Okay, so I also need some climby, climby. Decrease the stamina. Na, 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 na. Omuraisu Sugoi Korea Wait <clears throat> Come and have some hot soup Or you might just The following items have Oh are they automatically what I have how many no I can do that okay wilderness there and our menu Wave Rider Repair Toolbox What am I looking for again? Alright, food, 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 food I have 46 delicious sweet madams I think Do I have any defensive? Cool. Sit. No. In co op mode, this is. This. Okay, so. Boom. Oh. Okay. I hope I have enough to fully master this thing. I do. In fact. There we go. And then. Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, that's enough. Fly. Fly and look at Lumine's granny. Her granny bloomers.
Yes! I'm sorry, Ermin guy. I had to for the sake of uh, completing the bit be be the bestiary. Or is it bestiary? No. No, I do not have the patience to fight. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Oh no! Quick! And now you know why I hate Dragon Spine. And before some rude comments, uh. It's not like I have. <laughs> Do I? Strange. Didn't they say they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Okay, so. Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? Have we been left behind?
Oh my god. Just pine wood here. More or less. No, 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 no. Oh no. I must heal. Oh, come on. This is... For crossbow wielding. What's up, Bingongs? Welcome to Dom. I mean, this channel has always gone by. <laughs> Speed of light! I haven't watched this act in a long time. No, no, nine, nine. Oh no, oh no. Switch to Noel. Okay, run, run, baby, run. Don't never look back. Quick, quick. Oh my goodness. So Okay. The sound is completely stopped. How could that happen? After all the adventures we've been on, our tracking skills are honed to perfection. Aren't they? I think you blew our cover, Paimon. Oh, guess we underestimated whatever was behind it. But if that's the case, what exactly are we dealing with here? I know that voice. Mm -hmm. huh? What brings you to Dragonspine? Hey, it's Albedo. Oh, so it was Albedo all along. All along? Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises, and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you! Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people! The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. Yep. So, what business brought you here? We actually came to look for you! But then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. Hmm. Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Timaeus' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? Huh. Okay, 
let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. Ah, oh, I see. So you foisted the rookie off onto Eula so that you could wander off and uh, goof around? <laughs> you could say that. We're not goofing around! And Eula was the right person for the job! We were just being nice. What about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't we meet him on Dragonspine the first time? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently. And I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? It's Paint. a secret. <laughs> How nonchalant. He could have been more chalant when saying that. Star Silver can be used to make high quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver colored particles, but they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. Paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting. Mm. So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paima wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me. For the traveler. Paimon wants the traveler to learn how to paint. <laughs> Offload. During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It'd sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around.
painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. You mastered it, you can paint Paimon! Not a bad idea. Well, since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Okay, you know, you have this, uh... 
She is a knight of Favonius after all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albedo. Hold out. Jaime wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. You seem tired. Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. Do you take sugar? One cube or two?
Hmm. Guess some things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully. Wait, where's Paimon's Mora? It's hard to say their value, but some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing, the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragonspine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters. What use would any of them have with your notes? I feel the same way. However, Helitro break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> hmm. These appear to be... Footprints? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. From the entrance, the footprints go that way. The footprints lead up there. So they scaled the cliff. Okay, after them. Come <laughs> on. 
That's why we have to hurry. Because it's unsure. Huh? The footprints stop here! Our thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We are going down. Here, more footprints. can run, but you definitely can't hide! Let's go in! Wait. I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay. See you shortly. <laughs> of course. I wonder if Albedo found the thief. Really? Huh. Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. Waiting is so boring! Uh, why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like... Um... Something like... Oh! Look at all that star silver over there! Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens inside, we can be right back here in no time! Yay! Let's get started!
monster. Is that because of the impurities like Albedo was talking about? Shines a lot more brightly than others, huh? Finally, you're back! Yes. Sorry. I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Uh, oh. So after all that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Still, we won't be going back completely empty handed. We did some mining! Uh, mining? Yeah, for Star Silver. Look, we got quite a lot. It's just like you said. Some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. Star Silver. Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. So, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Oh, just one thing. Do you want us to bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless oh. bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Hmm. Mm, some of them do look pretty dull to Paimon, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Oh my god, he's edgy. He's like... broody now, what the heck? Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Damn. See what I mean? Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first. So let's start by... Help! Help me! Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that a cry for help? It's likely an adventurer in danger. Okay. This is definitely coming from around here. Is anybody there? Help me! Oh my god. No way! Is that?
Hmm? Is that the Traveler and Paimon? It's me, Bennett! Whoa! It's really him! Let's get him out! So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please, help me find it! Whenever you need me, I'll be there. No stone unturned. Oh, my. 
stone unturned. Yeah. I'm out. Thank you so much. If only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree, it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. And then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. Bennett? In a cage? Oh. Never saw that hey, coming. <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky again. Yep! Taking them out was child's play! No need to thank us. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys! I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurer's Rick Guild thing? Got fixed. They're hosting a winter <laughs> camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm he here to help spade. out the rookies. Bad doggo. Razor is not an adventurer. And as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, I had to come on my own. Oh no. But now I've been stuck here for so long. I probably missed it. Oh, I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. Mm -hmm. Oh! Wait, so that guy Gerald who got left in the lurch? He was supposed to be paired up with you? If so, sorry, Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonius stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius. <sighs> yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Right, right. Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. <laughs> Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon sure Cyrus will put you to work. Really? Sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors too? No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. 
We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Okay, I think I need to. If it wasn't for the electro hammer guy, I wouldn't have switched Still back. Still no sign of Albedo. This is weird. Where is he running off to? I would to? have kept Ganyu on the team if I knew the electro guy would be there. This is great. Dragon spine's so fun today. I don't know why. There's so many people around. <clears throat> it's never usually like this. I don't know why the electro hammer Fatui guy is. Isn't vulnerable to fire. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? We heard its voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, Albedo? Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you. I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Huh? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but first things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. How is he not injured? Bennett, I mean, look at that scar on his shoulder. That's gotta cut up some nerves. No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... <sighs> there you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? Oh, <laughs> boy. Yes, that's what I would be doing if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Uh... uh... Whoa, whoa, wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh, I see. Interesting. Interesting? You, uh, it sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes, and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? 
Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself, even if you decide not to pursue it any further. Yula, I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. Though, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses, if I am what this imposter wants. He will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will... Eula! Eula! Where are you? Amber, we're here! Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents, but nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck, but... Everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Sure, I'm ready to go. Very well. Let's go. And then there were three! Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? There's something I need to tell you. Let's go to my camp. Oh no. 
No, not at our room. Not at our room anymore. Uh uh. I do not want to deal with that. No. Let's just use some finesse. And by finesse, I mean run! I don't want to deal with our drills. <laughs> what? Okay. Thought my A button busted again. A day's work. This is a weird place for a chest. Not gonna lie. Leave it all to me. I need to get it. Okay, thank God. My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly without reservation. But before that. in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting it's due for a cleaning wow tidy up and it's a good thing I'm using the well <laughs> how appropriate the maid needs to clean yep that should do it neat and tidy Thank you, both of you. Now that everything is in order, it's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? <sighs> I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and then I would answer them. I also said that, while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. <laughs> I am a synthetic human being. A human forged by human hand. The one who created me, my mother and teacher. Her name is Ryan Daughter. A researcher from Conria, also known as Gold. Albedo is a robot. A synthetic human? What the? How the heck does that work? No, wait. Is he a robot? When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. Oh wait, he's a... Uh... Artificial... Homunculus, that's my word. From Fate's Day and Night, that's what they used to make, like, created people. Like, Elia and uh, her maids, and Iris Veil. When you say Conria, 
Do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. Oh. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Knowledge. Tyler. Knowledge. <laughs> Why do I remember these? Traveler. Now. What is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? Rhine Daughter created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Oh. Durin? So that makes you guys brothers? Durin, the same Durin. This. Is this the same Durin that the Valen had to kill? And. That's why you see those spines, like those shards embedded in the the Valen slash Storm there. Yeah, those were those were apparently venom of Durin. And if anyone explored Dragon Spine, holy crap. As sons of Rhine Daughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The crimson thingy thingy. Where. I, sorry, the one we. I, I remember having to gather those to make. To make one of the dragon spine weapons. The phenomenon Holy. of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. Um, speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was quite special. A strange and tenacious life force. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. Oh, right! Paimon knows what you mean! When Eula and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because it would only make you more suspicious. So Paimon kept quiet. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in. And you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come with us. And when we got back to the cavern to go find you, suddenly you were the one looking for us. So... It seems that you met my imposter too. Imposter? Is... The imposter is sus. Oh no. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would have guessed. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. So that's why Storm Terror went nuts. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight you should have to bear.
traveler. Perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I'm afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. Yeah! We're Dragon's Fine Veterans by now! If there's something really bad going on, we can't just leave you here to deal with it on your own! That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucrose and Timaeus don't know your... secret. Yeah! Don't push us away at a time like this! All right. Thank you. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild as planned, and be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Good. Then we're agreed. Okay, let's split up to look for clues, then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time! Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, Put your safety first at all times. Oh, boy. Okay, so it's time for me to exit stage right. Yep. Okay. Exit stage right. Uh, too much snaggle puss, am I right? Okay. That concludes my part. And now I hand the torch over. <laughs>